let me introduce to you Matilda Genvi Gustafsson, Director of Sustainability for Ericsson. Yeah. Welcome. Thanks a lot. So, Matilda Genvi Gustafsson, I work as Sustainability Director at Ericsson. We have a three-pronged approach to sustainability about responsible business, so that is beyond compliance, working in areas like occupational health and safety, responsible sourcing, code of business ethics, and also respect to human rights. And the second area is energy, environment, and climate action. And you will see a lot of that here today. We have science-based targets at Ericsson. We have committed to reduce our own emissions from on greenhouses with 30% by 2022, but also to address the energy performance of our complete portfolio. And in climate action, you have seen some of the examples here in the demo, and you can see it during these two days. So, for example, in the area of transportation, but also to monitor different types of emissions. So in the Connected Environmental Monitoring demo, you will see what we can uh, show in water, air and noise, for example. Uh, and then also, of course, on product take back. So we were very early to have a global approach to product take back, addressing circular economy. And the third area, that is Internet for all. So how we can, with our innovative solutions, provide affordable and accessible mobile broadband to people everywhere in the world, which we are very, very proud of. Uh, and our company purpose, that is innovating technology for good. And it really bases on the founders of Ericsson, Lars Magnus and Hilda, when they founded Ericsson over 140 years ago. They, they saw that communication, that is a basic human need. And we have had that uh, vision in the company throughout these 140 years. And now this is the company purpose of Ericsson, innovating technology for good. And the framework that we work with for uh, sustainability, it is the UN Global Goals. They were adopted in 2015. They are 17. I hope you've all seen them. And uh, we measure our different impacts in relation to these SDGs. Uh, this block now will, uh, uh, will be about water. There are two main SDGs on water. Number six, which is clean water. And then number 14, life below water. We will also hear a bit about how we can reduce waste and address plastics in, in oceans, but also on agriculture. And reducing waste and responsible production and consumption, that's SDG number 12. And agriculture and food, that's SDG number two. But of course, water, that is part of all life. So in one way or another, water impacts all of the SDGs. And of course, a very essential SDG is number 17, partnerships for the goals. It will not be able, we will not be able to address the challenges of the world, balancing the economic, ecological and social needs with our working together cross-sectorial. So that's also fantastic with these types of seminars where we can meet and share and, and discuss different types of ideas and show what is possible to do.